Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Latoya and I would love to have you be a part of my ever-growing band of misfit toys. In today's video, I am going to be doing a review of the new foundation by Juvia's Place. It is a stick foundation and I know, I know, I know. I said that I wasn't gonna be doing any other reviews on foundations for a while because I feel burnt out. However, I do love stick foundations. And since Juvia's Place came out with these foundation sticks, I just happened upon them in store. It was like it was meant to be, you know? So I picked them up. These are them right here. I got two colors one for contour and one for my actual foundation shade and if you would like to see this new foundation on me then please keep watching first of all we are gonna go over the packaging it is the standard packaging by juvia's place really bright with the orange and the teal and the heads of the african queens on the front of it it says juvia's place this is the shade sticks multi-purpose foundation sticks that is what the packaging looks like it's a cheap plastic nothing special but as long as the product is good it's fine the price point is pretty good so i understand the packaging packaging can be very expensive let me just give you a little bit of information about the foundation it is called they're called the shade sticks they're full coverage a natural radiant finish they come in 30 shades they're weightless multi-purpose contour conceal and correct three c's and it has a 24 month shelf life um to apply it says supply in strokes and blend with a sponge or brush in my experience with stick foundations i tend to do better with brushes so i'm going to try with a brush first and see how it works with a sponge if the brush doesn't work so we'll see it has 9.7 grams or 0.34 ounces and it retails for $16. This is how much you get. It doesn't seem like a lot, but I find that stick foundations tend to go a long way, so you don't have to use that much of it. So hopefully this will be fine. I got it in two shades. This shade right here is Katsina. That's what I'm gonna be using for contouring. And then I got a shade for the foundation and that's what it looks like right here this is the shade cameroon hopefully they work for me i saw them in ulta like the day after my surgery and i was like wow i didn't expect these to be out already so i decided to pick them up compared to another foundation stick specifically the makeup forever one the makeup forever foundation stick is 12.5 grams or 0.44 ounces, and that retails for $43. With the Makeup Forever Foundation Stick, you're getting a little bit, like a minuscule amount more product, and it's almost three times the price of this Juvia's Place Foundation Stick. So let me actually put them next to each other. They're different shapes, so it's kind of hard. It's gonna be hard to see like the amount of foundation because the Makeup Forever one is wider and this is like more thin and narrow. I've only used a little bit of the Makeup Forever one. So that's just to give you an idea of what it looks like. The Makeup Forever obviously is more like high end, not quite luxury, but more high end and Juvia's Place tends to be more affordable. I'm gonna go in with primer. First, I'm gonna go in with this Marc Jacobs Invisible Undercover Perfecting Coconut Face Primer. And I'm putting this all over my face, kind of to give an equal layer of moisturization, because that's what I use this for. I use it to moisturize, and it's not really to keep my foundation on, because I'm oily in the T-zone, so yeah. I might have put on a little bit too much, but we will see. The next primer I'm going in with, I lost a cap. I have no idea where it is. This is the Origins Pore Perfecting Cooling Primer with Willow Herb. It has a foam consistency. I'm sure you've seen me use this here before. That's what it looks like. And I'm gonna put that in the areas where I get oily. So right through the center of the face. 
And as I said, I am going to be going in with a brush for this particular foundation. First, I'm going to go in with the shade Cameroon, which I think is my foundation shade. Looks pretty good. Actually, it looks pretty perfect. It's super creamy. Let me turn this down a little bit because I don't want it to break. And I love full coverage, so I just go in when I apply my foundation. And of course I have to go down my neck. And I have tons of <laughs> blemishes and stuff going on down here. I don't know what it is. I think it may be a mixture of like um, medication going off, going on medication, stuff like that. It's not a good time, but that's life. I'm gonna go in with this brush here. This is the IT Cosmetics brush that everyone was like trying to get, but legitimately, hmm. it's okay. It's not worth the price, but you know. Mm. It's blending in really well. I don't always, I don't really use brushes actually. I use more, I more use a beauty sponge, but for stick foundations, I definitely think it's much easier because of the emollient nature and thickness of it to go in with a brush. Wow. What do we think about that shade match? I look super greasy, but I, I expected this because one of my favorite stick foundations is the Hourglass Seamless or Vanish Foundation, Vanish Seamless, I'm not sure the exact name, but yeah, it tends to look very much like this. I don't wanna look like I'm wearing a mask, so we're just gonna so this is what we're looking like right now. Wow, that looks really, really pretty. I'm gonna kind of keep this as Juvia's Place oriented as possible. So next I'm going to go in with their new concealer. It's the I Am Magic Concealer in the shade 12. Hmm, pretty good. I know it seems like I put a lot on, because I do. Some here. Right down the bridge of my nose. I also put some on my eyelids, which I don't generally do. I usually use like a base or something, but I'm not gonna be doing any eyeshadow or anything like that, so that's why I did that. And to blend it out, I'm going to be using a sponge and not a brush because I have not mastered using a brush for my under eye concealer. I let that dry down a little bit so it's not too wet. And I'm just going to go in. That's a nice color. These colors really work well together. I might have OD'd a bit with the concealer but I'm sure contouring and everything like that bronzing up is going to make up for all of that I'm also going to be doing a black owned makeup brand look or bomb look that's been going around for quite a couple of years and I want to do it as well. S support black. Why not, you know? It's very important. Everything is not for everyone, but it is good to be inclusive. So this is what the foundation and concealer are looking like together. My skin looks amazing. Yes, I am here for it. Now comes the tricky part. Before I set my under eyes, I am going to go in with Katsina to contour with. Should I put this direct? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take the plunge.
looks like a lot. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm not going to panic. I am not going to panic. I need a brush that's going to be good for this. Mm. What brush would I even usually use for this? My God, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to go in with this brush and see how it works. I don't want it to lift any of the other product. That's the issue. Oh, looks like it's working. What do we think? Hmm. I think I might blend it out with a sponge instead. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to work with a sponge. Yes. Ooh, ooh, I'm loving it. I'm going in with this brush right here that I use for nose contour, and this is, I used a lot of product. I use a lot more product than I should have, but we're going to work it out. Okay, yeah, I definitely need to go in with my beauty blender. What do we think? I think maybe I need to go directly into the actual product and use the flatter end of my brush to get a really to get a really precise yeah it's super soft and super creamy and I really like that about it because it's easy to work with you know wow my face looks so bright and fresh i love that all right now i'm going to go back in with ooh maybe i need another beauty blender i'm going to go back in and tap out underneath my eyes and on my eyelids and so that i can go in with powder to set the areas with concealer and for that I'm going to be using this powder by Fenty Beauty. This is the Pro Filter Mini Instant Retouch in the shade Cashew. I'm actually going to be going in with a sponge instead of a beauty blender. This sponge is by Linda Halberg and it's like a triangular, triangular shaped sponge. So I'm going to put my product on there. I've never done this before and see how that goes. So I've seen quite a couple of people do it and it seems to work. I'm going to tap off any excess. I think this might be better because I think with the beauty blender when it's still kind of damp it is not you know the best combination and it can make the product go like wonky set all the other areas as well I'm literally not using that much product because I don't want to look too, too dry, although I do want to be mattified. I love this little sponge. Oh my goodness, that looks really airbrushed and beautiful. Now it's time to set the face. And to set the face, I'm going to be going in with another product by Juvia's Place. I think this is, yep, it is the I Am Magic Setting Powder. And this is in the shade Gobi. I'm going to set my face with this. It's a really nice, warm shade. And I think I'm going to use the same puff method that I just used for the concealer. Because it feels like I'm just pressing it in and I'm, it's easier to control, especially when I tap off the excess product. And if anything, I could always go in with a brush if I feel like I need to. Oh, that looks a little bit patchy. Is it not enough product? Is it too wet? No. We'll see. Hmm. I don't know. I think I might have to just 
put it on like this first and then blending it blend it out with a brush afterwards because this might be a little bit too much let's see if I go in with a brush after that mm, yeah I think a brush might have been the way to go I'm gonna go in with this bronzer by Fenty Beauty this is in the shade Coco Naughty and we're gonna warm up the face Yes, let's add some life back into that face. Nice. It just started keto. This is like day one. And I'm telling you guys because it's going to hold me accountable. And that's exactly what I need. Yeah, that looks really nice. My face looks more alive. I am going to go in with blush, and I have two blush palettes by Juvia's Place, the Saharan Volume 1. Nice teal bright color, and the Saharan Volume 2. Same packaging, just different colors for each palette, I guess, to differentiate between the two. So one is darker shades, and that is the Saharan Volume 1. Those are the shades there. I don't know, that might be a bit bright for me right now. And then the Saharan Volume 2. This is more my speed for right now. I think I'm going to do a peachy situation because I haven't done that in a while. So I think I might mix Yara and Tao. So these two right here. Let me swatch them on my hand so that you can see what they look like. Yara, you're not going to be able to really see too much because it's kind of more of a natural blush, but I think it's going to help tone down the Tao. So here we have Yara, and here is Tao, which is a corally color. So I'm going to go in with those two mixed together on this Wayne Goss brush. Ooh, ooh, pigment. Yeah, that Tao is really playing no games. I should have dipped a little bit less there, but since I'm not going to have any eye makeup on, I think that's going to work. Ooh, maybe I'll go across like my nose, like some people have been doing. This is really adding color and life back into my face. Oh boy, is this going to be a abort mission type of situation here? Because I really went in with that blush. Ooh, I'm kind of feeling that. All right, I'm going to, I've been talking for ages, my God. I feel like I'm new to this all over again. I'm going to finish my face off camera, which is going to include brows and mascara and stuff like that. I'll probably do my lip really quick on camera as well as my highlighter, of course, and I do have a highlighter by Juvia's Place. Okay, I'm back. I have brows on. They look like they're related. Mascara. And it's time for one of my favorite parts of my makeup, highlighter. Going in with this highlighter, it is the Heroin Glow One by Juvia's Place, and it is a kind of goldy, yeah, I would say it's a nice gold shade. How pretty is that? Okay, so I'm gonna grab my highlighter brush and I'm gonna go in gently with this because I just want a bit. Nice. Nice, nice. That's what I have so far. What do you think? My face looks nice and fresh and even before the highlighter, glowy. And I am definitely here for that. Okay, here is everything together. Have a look at the foundation with all of my other makeup. It's looking really, really, really amazing. I am with it. It looks really good around my pores, on my nose. 
it is not settling into anything as of right now and it's really glowy and youthful looking and I am loving that. This is not necessarily a wear test situation but I might come back in a couple of hours because I can't do six or eight hours or whatever it is because it's quite late right now and let you know what it does look like for a little bit of you know an update if you will and I am also going to be doing a foundation ranking video with all the new foundations that have launched. I just pray that everyone keeps quiet, doesn't launch any more foundations so that I could get that video together. It is currently 7.32 p.m. I am probably going to check in around 10.30 three hours. I think that's a good time. So I will see you in a couple of hours. Okay, this is my update. Once again, I don't know where to look because this whole iPhone struggle is confusing. Anyways, this is what my nose is looking like. Just a little bit of oil, which is really good for a um, stick foundation or cream foundation. Uh, I had something to eat a couple of times, so I didn't want to feel, I didn't want to reapply my lip. My eyes don't look too bad underneath, like it doesn't look super dry like the last foundation that I did, which was um, the Urban Decay one, so I like that. And it overall looks good, it hasn't broken up or anything, it hasn't worn away anywhere, the coverage is good, it's nice and full, and yeah. I like this and for the price it is really good $16 can't really beat that comparable to another stick foundation which is like 43 and up so that's three times the price of this foundation by Juvia's Place so yeah if you're interested definitely go and check it out I'm gonna be trying out a little bit more to see how it fares under different circumstances and different conditions and okay that is it for this video if you enjoyed it please give me a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. Leave a comment down below of what you thought about this foundation. Check out my foundation series. I will leave a card up here somewhere. I'm pretty sure it's up here. And also let me know what other videos you would like to see, what you have been loving lately, what you've been using lately, what foundations, if any, out of these new foundations that released that you tried out yourself or may want to try out. And if you're not subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button right here as well as that notification bell right next to it. Make sure that it's on all so that you'll be notified when I upload my next video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.